Hello there folks. So today I'm going to show you how to install this spice rack. This spice rack comes in three pieces that are identical to this one. It's made of a hard wire frame or metal frame. It's pretty durable and doesn't really flex or bend on you. It has a plate along the back with two screw holes and then it has loops here which I'll show you what those are for later. It comes uh, like with a paint job, some sort of like powder coating so it's rust and corrosion resistant. It was sent to us for review from the company. It does come with three things of fix-all adhesive, a bunch of screws, and some of these Velcro straps. Now these are used to loop through these holes so you can strap in your spices and that way if somebody flings open the cabinet door they don't go flying everywhere. Um, and this is really great, a really great product for like a camper. So it has those Velcro straps. So like if you're driving down the road and you hit a bump and your camper shakes real bad, the spices aren't going to fall off the rack. You know, this thing's really designed more for a camper than in the home use, but it works in either application. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a little drill gun and I'm going to show you guys how to install this. All right, so I got my drill gun right here, little drill gun. They're Phillips head screws, gonna put my Phillips head bit right in there. And there's, there's two different ways basically you can install this. You can just screw it in place, you can screw it in place and use adhesive, or you can just use adhesive. Um, I recommend screwing it in place and using adhesive, um, which is what we're gonna do right here. First you wanna make sure this is nice and clean, which we've already gone ahead and done, and you wanna make sure it's dry. Um, you can use a level or something to make sure you get these perfectly level if you desire. We're going to go ahead and just kind of eyeball it. And I'm just going to install one for the purposes of this video. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take, take and make sure the back of your metal is clean as well. I'm going to apply. First you just take this and you want to punch a hole in this using the cap. I'm going to apply some of the ad adhesive to the back. You don't need a lot. I'm going to kind of eyeball this, try to make sure I get it just about right. Okay. I'm going to hold that in place. Put my screw onto my drill gun here. You can drill out the hole if you desire before you do this if you're worried about the wood splitting. This is like a composite material. Screw that right in. Make sure it didn't bubble out or go through. These screws, you don't want that to happen. These screws are pretty um, short so they're not going to go through most uh, cabinet doors. I bought ball it on this side. It's a little difficult to do this one handed, or I should say with just two hands without somebody helping you. Make sure it's looking level right about there. Screw it right in. Fits nicely. Looks good. Okay, then we're going to take some spices. Put them up here. Now these, I put this up a little too high. It's not going to clear that shelf. So I have to use shorter spice uh, bottles here, which is fine. I kind of suspected that might happen. So we're going to just take a bunch of these. Shorter ones, put them along here, and there you have it. Now, if you want to make sure those are secure, you take this, run it through here, you can cut this shorter if you want to and kind of customize the size here. I think I ran it through 
Actually, I did run it through correctly. <laughs> I thought I ran it through the wrong way, but I did not. Run it through right here. And you can attach this so that it holds those spice bottles right inside. Um, also, with the way this thing works, you can go like this. See if I can show you correctly. Fold it back on itself like that, so it's like a loop. Put your spices up in here. And come back through. And like so. But anyways, great little spice rack. Go ahead and check it out.